Right there you have my perpetually beautiful wife, Tammy. Hi guys. We're uh, out here in the family gym, our uh, garage, and uh, I'm going to shoot a uh, tomahawk video today. Uh, I've talked before, uh, I'm pretty passionate about weapons, uh, besides being passionate about dogs. I'm a former infantry paratrooper, and uh, again, uh, I, I love weapons. Uh, we're going to talk about a couple of tomahawks from... Uh, Wing Guard Wearables, uh, the Empress, and the uh, Back Ripper. I've seen uh, people do uh, uh, videos reviewing them individually, but I'm going to do them both and kind of compare them together. And then uh, I'm going to show uh, the differences between them and uh, some of the various Tomahawks from RMJ Tactical and uh, also uh, Daniel Winkler. All right, here's the Back Ripper. I'll be pulling the actual tomahawks out in a minute. I'm just going to show you some of the information Zach sends along when you get it. The back ribber as uh, chopping edge is forward angled and uh, optimized for uh, flesh and bone like material. The talon like uh, blade for uh, meat hook catch and drag and sickle like utility. The handle is uh, optimum grain geometry and file branded for a non slip grip. The uh, handle is contoured and uh, easy edge alignment, uh, uh, even in low light conditions. You can see here uh, on the top the way the uh, the way it's shaped in there, and that's so you can uh, conceal and carry it. The other one here is the Empress. The uh, front piercing blade is uh, streamlined for uh, penetration and extraction in flesh and bone like material. The Empress is a spontoon uh, style tomahawk, meaning it's uh, got a piercing blade and not an edge. It has the same talon hook. Again, you can read through all of this just by pausing it. Uh, Zach uh, writes to me uh, when he sends me the uh, Empress, uh, your tomahawk is cast from... Uh, High strength silicone bronze in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. The handle and wedge are uh, straight grain hickory from Pennsylvania. Your Empress is designed and hand finished in uh, Landenburg, Pennsylvania. It's a completely different animal from the RMJs and wrinklers you own. And uh, he's definitely right about that. Uh, I'm going to give the uh, camera here to my lovely wife. I'm wearing these glasses because they're my pinhole glasses. Uh, I use them to read sometimes. I'm getting a little uh, farsighted. <laughs> so right now, you wouldn't know I was concealing carrying a tomahawk. A 13-inch uh, tomahawk. And I'm just going to show you I got good range of motion while doing this. So I'll do a burpee or two. Again, right there is the Empress, which you can get in close there, Tim. Now I'm going to show you this cool sheath system he has. Pulls right out. Again, it's a really handy weapon. It's only about seven ounces or so. It's great and fast and agile. Unlike some of the Tomahawks from, say, RMJ Tactical, like the Shrike, which is actually a pretty heavy tomahawk. I, I would consider this more a, a breaching instrument. I mean, again, you can, you can use this against a target, but it's much heavier, and your, your ability to pull it back for another fast strike is limited because of that, where something like this spontoon-style hawk, which is only seven inches, I can hit a target very fast in just a matter of seconds. And one thing you want to do when you have a hawk like this that isn't made for striking like that. This hook here, which is edged and, and sharp there, is meant for like when you're in the trapping range and you're fighting somebody up close, you know, where it's elbow, head, butt, and knees, you can turn around like this and you can use this like a zipper to open somebody up. You could use it for hooking and pulling. Very effective. Again, the spontoon style hawk has a piercing blade and uh, Zach said he designed it after a Megalodon tooth. So if you look, it's rounded here and flat on this side. And again, 
that optimizes your ability to extract it from bone and flesh and not having a beard keeps it from getting hung up on the target. So that is the Empress. Here, Tammy, why don't you hold this for a second? Let's get out a tape measure. Again, you can see it's about uh, 13 and a half inches. Again, the head is made from cast bronze. This really doesn't have any utility purpose, and bronze is more than hard enough to, to hit a flesh and bone target. And one of the advantages of having that out of cast bronze is it's not going to rust at all. You know, you could wear this in the water or whatever, and it's not going to rust. I, I, I've had these now for a couple of months. Uh, I also have the back ripper here. Again, he has a really ingenious sheath system on them both, where he just snaps right here on the bucket clips, and you can feed it right down your pants leg like you saw me have it. The head being tilted on this actually makes the Empress, I think, carry a little bit, or makes the back ripper carry a little better than the Empress because it's canted in, and so it doesn't imprint as much when you when you bend down. But both really carry nicely and well, and I've, I've done several... Uh, hikes where I've hiked uh, a few miles carrying these and, and they were not an issue. Again, I, I really wanted to carry these for a while so I could, I could review them that way. Again, that's the, uh, the back ripper. And again, you know, it only weighs uh, seven, eight ounces. It's a very fast, agile weapon. You know, it, it's made st strictly for combat. You know, again, you could maybe get some utility purpose out of this because it has a sharpened edge there, but it's it's basically meant as, as, as a combat tomahawk. And when you're swinging a hawk like this with, 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 a, with a curved blade like that, you don't want to come over your shoulder like this while swinging it for obvious reasons. You could hook yourself. Matter of fact, I watched the review of one of these hawks on the uh, Hard to Hurt channel. And uh, uh, matter of fact, I, I love that channel. I, I recommend you guys check it out. But... When he was doing that, he actually hooked his shoulder there and fortunately just tore his shirt and I didn't catch his skin. But when you're fighting with a tomahawk with a back like that, you, you keep it buried up here in your shoulder and then you could strike and you don't have to worry about hooking yourself. Again, the, the back ripper blade on this is for when you're up close, you could unzip, hook, whatever. Very, very effective. And again, you'll see that this is canted this way. This one's for right hand carry. And that's so it, it contours to your hip there like that when you're carrying it. He also sells one there canted the other way for uh, you lefties out there to carry on this side. I'm going to show you them both right here. Now another thing that he does that I, I really like is the handles and the wedges come from the same cut piece of wood. And uh, one of the advantages to that uh, as opposed to uh, using a metal wedge or using a wedge from a, from a different piece of wood, a different type of wood, is as this swells and contracts with the weather and that, the wedge and the, and the handle will do that at the same time and it will prevent it from becoming loose. Here, team. Yeah, that's 16 inches, if you can see that. And again, the uh, Empress is uh, 13. He also sells these trainers. This is a trainer for the Empress. And one of the beautiful things is the trainer and the Tomahawk weigh almost the exact same. You know, so. You can use this with somebody, you know, you know, training and trying stuff. And, you know, I always recommend if you get a tomahawk uh, to get a trainer because uh, it, it really helps you. You know, it's like getting a gun and never, never practicing with it. You know, you want to learn to become very familiar with it, the weight, moving it. That's just my opinion. I'm going to show you these compared to uh, my RMJ Tactical here. That's the RMJ Tactical Shrike.
Now I have a uh, trainer for the Shrike too. But again, this, this trainer weighs a fraction of what the, uh, the actual Tomahawk weighs. And again, one of the advantages to uh, the uh, uh, wing guard wearable Tomahawks is that they're much quicker and more agile in, in the hand. You know, I, I, I'm much slower swinging this because it's heavier. And so the bringing it back, you know, this is more of a breaching instrument. I mean, again, you can use this on a person too, but when it comes to a tomahawk, strictly made for hand-to-hand -hand combat, uh, these are much agile, more agile, quicker weapons. And I also have a couple of our other RMJs here you can take a look at. I have a pretty big Tomahawk collection. So that's the Kestrel. Uh, that's the Shrike. And I believe this bigger one here is the Talon. Again, the, the blade on these is handy in some situations. You can use it for hooking. You can also use it like a uh, can opener and like a car roof. I've seen somebody do that before. Here they are compared to my one of my Daniel Winklers. I got a few other Daniel Winkler Hawks too. But again, I'm just giving you an idea of the size comparison. The Daniel Winkler Hawks are, are, are beautifully made as well. Again, they've got a little more weight to them, so they're not going to be as quick and agile as, say, uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, Hawks from uh, Zach, but uh, still a very nice instrument. So there you have it. That's my review of the Empress and the uh, Back Ripper from uh, Zach at uh, Wingard Wearables. Uh, I highly recommend uh, you check him out, uh, both his website and his YouTube channel. Uh, I've conversed with him quite a bit over the last couple of months. He's a great guy. Uh, all his products are made in the USA, and uh, he really thinks outside the box with a, a lot of his different products. I highly recommend him. If you go over to uh, his uh, YouTube channel or uh, Instagram page or uh, uh, you, you buy something from him, tell him Chad uh, sent you first 508th Airborne. <laughs> Bye from my lovely wife. Hi, guys. Have a great day. <laughs> uh, I'll see you. Bye. Again, the Back Ripper and the Empress. I also recommend you go check Zach's channel because he's got a number of very good videos on both of these where uh, he explains the sheath system better. Uh, he also uh, goes through a lot of the different uh, uh, features of them and uh, his, uh, uh, you know, thoughts behind making each of them. And, uh, you know, he, he seems like a great guy. I'm sure uh, if he lived in the area, we'd be friends and hang out. Uh, I like people who are passionate about what they do. And if you watch any of his videos, you can see he's definitely that. Again, that's all. Check out our merch store. <laughs> see ya. Pretty slick. Thanks for watching. Check out our merch store down below.